of the lessons or instructions are considered one among the most effective and useful resources. Audio lessons are gaining popularity and podcasts are being used widely for various purposes in the field of education and entertainment. In this module on Audacity, a free and open source software for audio recording, we are going to learn how to download and install the software and how to connect the microphone for audio recording. Installation and connecting up. The learning outcomes are, by the end of this video lesson, the learners download and install the software from the right source, identify the sound ports on your computer, connect a microphone to your computer, test your input connection. Now, let's see how to download the software from the right source. This is the home page of Audacity, www.audacityteam.org. This is the right source to get the download link of Audacity software. I would like to caution you that you may find this software from several other websites, but there is no guarantee that you are downloading without any malicious malware. Now let us see how to download this software. From the home page, you must go to this uh, download. Then in the download part, if you click on the windows, you will get a verification that uh, you are a human being, you are not a robo. If you complete this formality, then you will get this page like Audacity for Windows, Audacity for Mac OS and Audacity for Linux. We can click on this Audacity for Window, it will take you to this page. Here we will get the, the link, the, the current, the latest version 2.4.2. When you click on this, you will get the uh, uh, Audacity software installed. Now let us see how we are going to launch this. Since I have already installed this, I am not able to show the installation here live. Since I have installed, now we are going to launch the Audacity program. The Audacity icon is on my desktop. I am going to double click on it. Now it is uh, launching the Audacity program and the home page appears like this. Now, we will leave this uh, Audacity program as it is, leave it open. Let us try to identify the audio port in your PC. The back of your PC appears uh, like this. This part with three color coded sockets in your audio, audio port. Now, this is enlarged and shown here. The pink colored socket is meant for microphone. You can connect your microphone audio jack plug in this socket. And uh, it may be mono or stereo, depends on the config configuration or model of your PC. The next green colored uh, uh, socket is for your headphone. The third one, blue colored, is called line in. It is used to connect CD player or gaming devices. Your microphone jack appears like this. If you want to connect your standalone mic, connect here in the pink jack uh, socket, and if you have a headphone, then connect it here in the green socket. Now, those who have the headphone or standalone microphone with the USB on the other end may connect it in any one of the USB port. This gives a better performance than the earlier model. 
So if you are planning to buy a new one, look for one with the USB. After connecting the microphone, we have to select the recording device in the Audacity window. Now let us go to the Audacity window. This is the Audacity window. Before we connect our microphone to this Audacity software, we must know three things. First one, the kind of technology, recording technology we are going to use. Second one, connecting and identifying the microphone we are going to use and the third one, the speaker, the output device. Here I am using a headphone which has got both microphone and output device. Uh, so, both are one and the same. If I click here in the drop down menu, uh, you could find uh, Microsoft sound mapper input, headset microphone for Microsoft, microphone Realtek. So, the headphone I connected is headset microphone 4. So, I clicked on that and the second one, the same device is used for output also. So, the same one I selected. If you use different brands, that name may appear there and you can click on it. We have selected the input and the output. And the third one is the, the kind of uh, technology we are going to use to record your audio. MME, Windows Direct Sound, Windows VASP. This MME is compatible with all devices, so I would recommend to select that MME and the other two options are of a very, it is a latest technology, uh, you will learn it later. Now we are going to test, we have connected it and whether the software captures the sound from a input device and whether it is able to give the output accordingly. So before recording it, I would like to tell you the four important buttons. This red one is a record button and uh, this one is stop button and these two vertical bars is a pause button and the green one is play. So now when I click on this record and as I go on talking, you can find that uh, the graphics, the waves as I speak and here on the top against this microphone also you can view as per the loudness of my voice this bar moves. If I speak louder it goes to the extreme and it becomes red and you should not allow to make it red. When you reach as red the, the bar, uh, the waves go beyond this 0 0.5. If it goes 0 0.5 the, the audio quality may not be that uh, soothing for us. So, we should avoid going beyond that. So, how to adjust that audio? There are three ways to adjust that sound. One is keep your microphone bit away from your mouth. Second one, you can speak with less loudness and the third one, the microphone, the recording volume, you can decrease this one. So as per your convenience, you may do it. If the audio level, the volume goes beyond the required level and when it touches this red one, that sound is not comfortable and uh, the clarity will be lost. Uh, with this, uh, I would like, now it is uh, working fine. Now I want to stop it and give you a playback. We are going to check whether the output device is working or not, but you may not be able to hear it, but it plays here. I can hear only in my headphone. And as I go on talking, you can find that uh, the graphics, the waves. Yeah, now you can hear the as sound. As I speak. And here on the top against this microphone on
I would like to repeat the tasks installation and connecting up. First, you are going to download and install the software and then identify the sound ports on your computer, then connect your microphone and test your microphone or the 